Foreign Minister Penny Wong has announced $21 million in extra assistance for the humanitarian crisis stemming from the Israel and Hamas conflict in Gaza. Live to Olivia Kaisley now in Canberra. Olivia, what exactly will the money go towards? Well, this funding boost announced overnight in Jordan takes Australia's total contribution since Hamas's terrorist attack on Israel on October 7 to a little over $46 million. The subsequent conflict has seen the deaths of tens of thousands of Palestinians. So this money will go towards humanitarian aid in Gaza. Penny Wong, during her tour to the Middle East, is very much advocating for peace, but she is walking a diplomatic tightrope, really trying to reach a middle ground between both sides of the conflict. She has, though, received some criticism here at home from some of Australia's Jewish leaders, and that's in regards to her decision not to visit some of the towns in southern Israel, which were very much the epicentre of the October massacres. Instead, she's held a pretty emotional meeting with some of the hostage victims and their families in Israel, in which she's expressed solidarity with their plight. And we hope to have some pictures to you of that interaction in the next hour. While in Jordan, where she was just hours previously, it is a whistle stop tour, as I say, as she did express a comment or to, uh, address rather uh, South Africa's genocide case against Israel in the International Court of Justice. Have a listen. Our support for the ICJ and respect for its independence does not mean we accept the premise of South Africa's case. Uh, we will continue to work for just and enduring peace between Israelis and Palestinians. Um, I would note Australia is not currently a party to the case and that at this stage the ICJ has not invited interventions from other parties. She's met with Israeli President Isaac Herzog as well, and I'll take you to his tweet now. So uh, just in the past couple of hours, he says, Historically, Australia has played an important role in our region, and today I thank you for your strong condemnation of Hamas's atrocities and firm call for the immediate release of all the hostages. The Foreign Minister will also visit occupied Palestinian territories in the West Bank during her trip. Kenny? Olivia, thank you.